Yes, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, college is going good. I got an A on my chemistry test, so that's great. And finals are next week, so I'll be studying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What news? Okay, well, I want the bad news first. It's okay, it's fine. I don't mind staying in my dorm room alone for Christmas. It's fine. But you said you had good news, so what's the good news? I'm staying with Nick and Janino. It's fine, it's okay. Yeah, Christmas story, all right.
they would have the honor to bring the Messiah to the world. The time came for the prophecy to be fulfilled, and God chose a virgin named Mary, pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David, just like the prophecy had said. So God sent an angel, Gabriel, to Mary to announce the great news. Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child, and you will call him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. How will this be? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. I'm the Lord's servant. May it be to me as you have said.
When Joseph was given the news, he was confused, of course. This was his future wife, but this wasn't going to be his baby. Yet, he was a righteous man and didn't want to expose her to the public. So he had in mind to divorce her quietly. So, God sent an angel to him in a dream while he was sleeping. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. You are to give him the name of Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke, he did just as the angel of the Lord had commanded. In those days, Caesar decreed a census, and everyone had to go to their hometown to register. So Joseph and Mary went to their hometown in Bethlehem. And while they were there, there came a time for the baby to be born. There was no more room for them in any of the inns, so they took a shelter, a shelter in a stable. This was laid in a manger. Can you imagine that? The Messiah that had been hoped for and waited for for so long was born in an animal stable. The world was not prepared to receive its savior.
angels nearby watched over their flocks and spoke of the Messiah that was to come, not realizing that he was already here. So God sent an angel to tell them the good news. Do not be afraid. I bring good news of great joy. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born unto you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God.
Where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. King Herod did not like the idea of a king other than himself and the priests were bewildered. Who are these wise men telling them when their Messiah should come? They were experts of these prophecies. They should have known, but they didn't. They had neglected the scriptures and were not ready. So the king called together the priests, the teachers of the law, and asked them where the Christ was to be born. The priests remembered the verse of Micah 5, verse 2, which said, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people. Herod pretended like he wanted to worship his Messiah as well, and sent the three Magi to find this ruler and report back to him. But an angel in a dream warned the wise men not to go back to King Herod, for he had evil intentions. They followed the star and it led them right to Jesus in Bethlehem. He did not look like a king. Nevertheless, they worshipped him very faithfully as one. And they presented him with three gifts. The first one, gift of gold. A gift for a king. The second was incense, the gift for a god. And finally, burial ointment, myrrh, a gift for the one who was to die. Son of man, son of God, and our Savior who would die for our sins. <laughs>
is first in your heart and want to renew your relationship with Jesus Christ, please don't delay. Do it today. This is my um, before we <laughs> invite the oh yes, lunch. Everyone here is invited to a potluck lunch we have in the fellowship hall. So um, we had a ton of people make food today, so to um, have enough for everyone. So everyone's welcome. Thank you. Thanks, guys.